hey beautiful people welcome back to our youtube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today so if this is your first time guys please do not forget to subscribe to this channel do not forget to share this video do not forget to like the video so that youtube can recommend to other people and remember if you do these things for me you are equally giving me water to drink thank you so much so today's video i want to talk about something this is a very important thing i have noticed many international students are doing and uh, i'm just here to correct this issue please if you want to study in austria this year that is 2024 or next year 2025 please please and please watch this video till the end is going to help you and remember we are going to be talking about the process of verification authentication legalization and all those things these are essential you need this process in order to study in austria if you do not do these documents the way they want the austrian authorities want them to be you may not get the possibility or the opportunity to study in austria now remember there are three different or let me say different methods like verification is different legalization is different authentication is different first let us start with authentication of the documents if you want to authenticate your documents before i even talk about this i want to draw your attention to the fact that if you succeed and you do this process you might just be moving to austria also remember that there are other countries like slovakia romania czech republic hungary uh belgium okay and so many other countries that need this process if not the complete process but all the entire process now it depends on if you have to do this process before you apply to a school or you would do it after you've applied to the school and then you apply for the visa you understand like for the case of poland poland's police schools are now requesting that you bring uh, legalized documents up to the point of the embassy now is it possible for you to do these documents and you don't go to the embassy but you apply and you get admissions to police school the answer is yes now for austria you need to do what is called verification legalization authentication where do you begin with authentication where do you go for authentication ministries nigerians cameroonians africans international students you are going to the same places you take your certificate you go to the various ministries okay i always use cameroon and nigeria as an example because i'm used to their certificates you get my point so for cameroon you would then take your results o levels or a levels or bsc to the competent officials then after that that's officials of your school then after that you now carry them to the ministry of foreign affairs for nigerians you first of all need to go through the ministry of education you then leave to the ministry of foreign affairs then you carry the documents now to the other area nigerians when you are doing authentication you are only doing it at the various ministries ministry of education ministry of foreign affairs okay there may be other documents you may need to go to some other places but this is how your authentication is going to look like i don't know the amount you need to spend but i just know that this is the process then from authentication the documents need to undergo verification now how are they going to undergo verification this is now for everybody remember the verification fee for nigerians is like 400 euros it has increased for cameroonians i think it should be 700 or 800 there is a video on this youtube channel so please make sure you verify that video watch it to the end so you understand but remember verification means that they want to take your documents to those various places you said you got them from they verify if they are true copies because they need to know and in this case the austrian embassy has a lawyer that is going to do this all lawyers that do this process then the same thing goes for your birth certificate they have to verify now the verification is for all the documents this is for nigerians and africans in general or other people watching from different countries but this is the process of verification for austrian embassy in abuja cameroonians remember when it comes to this verification stuff you are not going to the austrian embassy in nigeria you are just going to do it using the vfs global center in yaoundé if you check the austrian embassy's website 
you are going to find this information there Cameroonians and Ghanaians and also remember your fee is different for Cameroonians and, Ghan and Ghanaians okay your fee is different for this process now check the other video on this channel when you have done this the next thing you need to do now is legalization of the documents legalization of the documents now you need to do what you need to now take the documents the documents now need to go through the embassy this is where Nigerians, you will leave the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ocean Embassy for the entire process. You get my point. But in most cases, now this is for Nigerians. In most cases, other nationalities, they don't do the same process because the Ocean Embassy is not in every country in Africa. I hope you get my point. So Nigerians, Ministry of Education, Foreign Affairs, Ocean Embassy, and you will do your verification and legalization. It is done that way. But for Cameroonians, your verification is going to be done. Then, you remember, you are also going to pay the fee for legalization. Then everything will be transmitted. You just need to go back to VFS Global and collect your documents. If you also pay for legalization, it will be done. They will explain these details to you. So please ask the guys at the VFS centers to actually understand. And make sure you gather all the documents together. Because failing to add all the documents will lead you to double legalization. And remember, double legalization is still the same amount you are going to pay. The money will increase. So avoid spending too much money by putting all legal papers together. Remember, verification fee is for all the documents. Remember, legalization fee is 80 euros and it's for all the documents. Nigerians pay attention. I talked about authentication already. Now, if you do not do this process, you cannot apply to schools in Austria. Even if you apply, these schools will tell you that or they will give you a deadline to bring these documents to them before they can give you an admissions or validate your admissions. You have to be careful. You have to work with them. There are many schools in Austria and many students will not apply because of this legalization procedure. Now, let's talk about the other countries, Slovakia, Romania, Czech Republic, Belgium. Let me begin with Belgium. The process for Cameroonians and Nigerians is the same for Belgium. But instead of after the Ministry of Foreign Affairs now to carry your documents to the Austrian Embassy, the documents need to go to the TLS contact. TLS contact is the middleman between you and the belgian embassy so when it goes to tls contact now they are going to take it to the uh, to the belgian embassy after you've paid everything and remember if you do not do the other process well tls contact cannot carry the documents to the belgian embassy and after the stamps has been put there or the i don't know how they call it they will bring the documents back to you then you cannot begin to apply for your schools in Belgium. There are so many schools in Belgium without this process, you cannot apply. Example is Ghent University. Czech Republic. Czech Republic is the same process, but when it's going to the embassy, it is called super legalization. Now, with this process of super legalization, it is the Czech embassy that is going to do it. Before, the Czech embassy was somewhere in Cameroon. Uh, right now, I was told that it was moved to another location, but so many people can't find it. I do not know the new location but remember for those in Nigeria you can just do it at the Czech embassy and remember appointment to the Czech Republic is so difficult so before you even apply to any school in Czech make sure you put in an application to other schools as well it's so important then for Romania you can do it at the level of the Ministry of Education Foreign Affairs then you do not do the embassy option but I think it's always good to do the embassy option because it is good for Romanian government to know that you've actually done your documents up to the level of their embassy. I hope you get the point so that they can actually do what they want to do. It's so important. So please put all this into consideration. Slovakia, you are going to do it only after you've gotten your documents to apply for admissions. You do not need these documents before admissions. For Romania, you need them before admissions. For Czech Republic, you need them after applying. In case the school wants to give you an admissions offer they are going to tell you to go do these documents and bring to them this is how the procedure is for belgium you need them only during visa application but for austria you need them before you can be given admissions and before visa application so i think these are some of the things that you need to put into consideration i'm still going to talk more about this info because many people do not seem to understand and i totally get why the process is not going to be easy. It's not going to be difficult either. It's just going to be tricky. So I will advise you to stick around, do the necessary research, 
book the necessary consultations get knowledge then you do your own research and apply for the schools do not forget that i equally offer one-on-one -on -one consultations so if you need something you need a call with me especially if you're applying for your visa you do not know where to go you do not know the country to take depending on your documents book an appointment with me then i will guide you in everything everything through the steps okay till we meet again